But at any rate, in the left side of Tournament Airstrip, the red black hand, I'm assuming, it's Bike Rush. And on the right hand side, we have Masterly playing as the green GDI. He's not playing as Traveler now. I, I don't know about you, Cyber, but I was talking to Masterly before the tournament. And I said, hey, just play uh, GDI versus Bike Rush because, you know, he obviously knows about the the Descent trick and, and Leaf was like actually considering it and he's actually playing GDI now, which is, uh, yeah, definitely interesting. Yeah, I actually didn't really talk to Master Leaf too much before this. Uh, we talked quite a bit before uh, the, the World Championship, but after that, we've just been quite busy with other things. So I, that's actually one thing that I suggested to him because at the time it was like, the question was, how do you stop the black hand all in? And like, how do you deal with that as Traveler? And that was before he figured out the whole Descent stuff. And it's like, I was like, hey, maybe you should just go GDI. So yeah, he's doing that now. We'll mm -hmm. see how this works out. I know open maps, you've talked about how it's quite good for GDI in some cases, but we'll have to see if that works out for him. It's good if he gets a rolling army, of course, but of course it's good for Black Hand as well. He has a lot of uh, distance and room for bikes for harassment, so he needs, Leaf needs to be able to protect his harvesters while getting a death ball of GDI armor up, which is really hard to stop. Um, does take the second spike, which is going to be nice. But another thing about the all-in rushes there is that uh, Leaf has shown that if Bike Rush sells his MCV to go all-in, the only anti-infantry unit he has left is the couple of Cabal squads he builds at the start and buggies. And that, as we saw in the World Championships, is just not going to cut it. Yeah, the buggies, they just do not have the DPS. I mean, the APC Mind Bomb is definitely one opportunity, but he's the wrong faction for that, so that's not too big of a deal. But yeah, Bike Rush, I mean, he did place his power plant quite far away, which would be dangerous if he was going all in and going for the MCV cell but he has decided to go just for the kind of standard expansion timing and then, uh, well, at least MCV move. I need to stop saying expansion. <laughs> I mean, I just noticed that this map is significantly different from the last time I've seen it. Um, it was obviously uh, slightly tweaked by Predator in R9, but uh, the tip fields down the bottom split even further. The spike has been redesigned in the center and the fields are closer to the top corner, easier to defend and uh, further to the expansion. So interesting uh, design choices here, but I think it's, it appears to have slightly improved the, the, the quality of the map, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, you do have that pretty easy map split where it's like there isn't going to be a huge amount of con contesting that happens, but when you expand to your normal third, it puts you so close to your opponent. So the first part of the game, you're nice and far away, you've got lots of room, and then as the game goes on a little bit further, you're gonna be going either for the blue up north, which will most likely just be long distance, and then the green in the middle, which is so, so close. So yeah, definitely yeah, there, some interesting changes. There really isn't any point in, in establishing a base near the blue. The blue field just isn't in a strategic location at all. I mean, it's way up top. Uh, you can just leech that. You're gonna need the, the green at the bottom. He has split the fields a bit more, but expect to see base pushing there, I reckon. Yeah, and Bike Rush is doing I don't want to say the patented because it's just, I mean, it's not like Bike Rush. It's the only person who goes super heavy eco, like crazy harvesters before anything else. And this is one of the strengths of Bike Rush is he, he can go from crazy aggression, which we're not seeing in this game, but he can defend so well. It's like he knows exactly when to sell a lot of his buildings, when to rebuild, when to move his MCV, and all of these things. He's, of course, a very experienced player, and he knows how to defend mm. and then macro up to that ridiculous death ball blob of units that's basically unstoppable. So maybe we'll see that, but for now it looks like he's certainly heading towards that direction. Yeah, notice Master Leaf did push off a Harvester from the blue field. He got about a third of a tank, which is nowhere near worth it. So nice move from Master Leaf there, just poked him. Um, again, you're right about Bike Rush there, knowing just the game sense is just ridiculously crazy. But um, uh, he's known to transition so fast because he just sells up most of his base to do the transition half the time, which catches a lot of people by surprise. But I'm probably yeah. expecting double MCV in this point. Uh, what do you reckon? That's certainly a valid point, something I didn't really think about until you mentioned it, but yeah. He loves his double, triple, well, okay, he's already got the double MCV. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that MCV. building, but I didn't actually oh, no, see that building. I just guessed. <laughs> I, oh, okay. I, was looking, I was checking before, but he was still building harvesters, and uh, he's oh, okay. had to pull his harvester away from the blue field again, because otherwise it would have been destroyed. But yeah, Bike Rush is one of those players that he often doesn't float a ton because he knows how to, like, drop five war factories and just get a ridiculous spam going on. 
So yeah, double MCV in this case, because he's went for that two base, super saturated eco very quickly. Three MCVs, not surprised. The third one just yeah. now popping out. I mean, no surprise. Oh. I like what bike, what uh, Leaf is doing because I told him if he goes late game with bike, he's just going to multi MCV against GDI. And Leaf is actually really pushing a lot of units, but he's got air and ground. So, I mean, bike can't build double A and and obelisk at the same time. He has to pick, and he's obviously going to pick double A here. But his MCV is taking some ridiculous damage now. And Master Leaf does have Shatterers following up after this, so he's going to have some really good meat in his army. Uh, Shredder Turret's going down, not necessarily a fantastic choice. He can get... Oh, okay, there we yeah. go. There's the upgrade. He's going to he's gonna lose this MCV straight away. Uh, one click comes down on Leaf Seco, and oh man, that was panicked as well, because he got nothing but a ref. He got no harvesters. He does have a flame tank in the north, and... Well, Master Leaf doesn't have a whole lot in his main base, so it's going to flame down like some harvesters or refineries that have already been used. Oh. Oh man, look at this on the bottom left. Uh, it looks like Master Leaf has killed about three or four harvesters. There's only one oh. harvester left. Did we miss that? Wait a sec. Um, oh he my still God. has harvesters in the north, but yeah, that was like four or five harvesters in the south. I guess he just didn't quite notice it. I'm not sure where the flame tank went in the north, but I, yeah, I we may have, have missed. Cleaned up. We may have missed a pretty big harass. Sorry about that, but. And look at this, there's four, there's five shatter tanks coming. How's Bike Rush going to stop this? He doesn't have a Texan. Oh, he does have a Texan. He's going to need Obelisk, but then he can't counter the Hammerheads. Yeah, and again, you, you talked about this before. He has to choose. He's going for that anti-ground, and right now the Hammerheads aren't a threat, so he's going to be doing just fine. If he throws down a couple of Obelisks, this becomes a lot more powerful, but really, he just has a lot of units to deal with, so maybe the Shredder Turrets are the better choice. Yeah. Battle markers all over the map. Bike's trying to defend the blue field. He's losing infantry to hammerheads down the bottom. Uh, Leaf can... He's going to go for the obelisk. He's going to try to focus it down, and he's got enough shatterers to do that. He's going to still blue tip behind it, but he's just forcing so much base defenses out of Bike Crush, who has managed to uh, uh, pop a ref down on the third base as well, because he had a tib chem plant giving him build rares, which he's now sold. Yeah, so Master Leaf, he is going to be forced back from the middle of the map, but cleaning up the harvesters on that second field, was it annoying? Absolutely. Oh. Was it painful? Oh, the flame tank finally flame coming tank. into use. Uh, went right past the ex past the main base, with, oh. which I think was a good idea. What did he get? Look at that power plant. He got he got a lot of power plants. And I think he got the comm center as well. I'm not sure if he got the tech center where the leaf sold it. He had a grenade squad there, so looks like he might have lost ah. that to the flame tank as well. But he's got his reclamator hub out, so I'm pretty sure that's the only reason he wanted his tech center anyway. Yeah, I mean, as long as he's... I'm not actually sure where the... Okay, there's the Reclamator Hub. As long as he gets out that Marv, he can he can harvest the third field. Is it not? A, it's not as good as getting Harvesters, but it is going to work in a pinch. And, and those Sam turrets just get absolutely annihilated. Yeah, but I mean, Leaf doing a great job with the uh, multi prone attack and keeping Bike Rush from just putting down mass base defenses. But I mean, Bike Rush's blue expansion is now useless because Leaf cleaned it up with Leeching. And uh, mm -hmm. he's going to have to camp a bit on these fields to recover. Leaf needs to expand, but he's got a Marv, and he's got two Juggernauts as well. I'm not sure what he's planning to do with these. I would have thought he would have gone for uh, some more mobile units. Yeah, I mean, he is going to be going for a very strong base push with these Juggernauts backing up. Well, not so much a base push as he's going to be pushing away Bike Rush's base. Uh, is Bike Rush just on dual MCV? He didn't rebuild a third, did he? No, he hasn't got a third, but uh, okay. Leaf is actually going to be attacking the top and clearing him out. I'm not sure if that's going to be the way to go. Uh, nice work from Leaf by forcing all the sand drops in the main as well by sending his hammerheads there. Just again, forcing Bike Rush to build things where he doesn't want them. Yeah, and then if Bike Rush sells those off, the hammerheads can swing back in if Master Leaf spots that that's clear. And yeah, the expansion in the north, it's going to get trashed, but... It's mostly yeah. just base defenses and an extra MCV. Maybe he really wants to kill that multi-MCV, but the expansion in the south Definitely. is way more important. Yeah, but I mean, killing the MCV is su is still super important because if Bike Rush is down to one MCV, I mean, how's he gonna, how's he really gonna to do his base push? He can't do it with one MCV. The Marv is here. There's two Juggernauts. The Juggernauts kind of need to fire at the uh, the MCV. The Marv doesn't have it. Oh, it's got one garrison in it, which is not that great, but. Master Leaf, he's got a lot of hammerheads, so he can protect his MCV from the infantry in the south, throws down the laser field as well, and 
Is Master Leaf intentionally just drawing out these base defenses from Bike Rush? Just instead of killing the MCV, he's just letting Bike Rush waste the money, you think? Or Yeah, I mean, he really didn't destroy much of Leaf's army at all, and now Leaf has killed a second MCV. He completely repelled Bike's attack, and Bike is running out of Tiberium. He needs this Redeemer now. Um, and Leaf has now time to establish another economy, just as he's about to use up all his tib on his southern expansion. Yeah, Bike Rush needs to transfer at least one Harvester back up to that northern field, but if he does that, it's going to be attacked by this army. So you oh, mentioned man. the low eco, and Bike yeah. Rush is about to be... Actually, oh, the Operations Center is up here, yeah. so he's going to have to rebuild that for more he... Sams. Leaf just scanned is going to this base to make sure there's no defenses here, but the Marvin, two Juggernauts, and all this ground force, this base is going to die, and that like Bike Rush is going to have to replace a lot of these buildings because it's almost all of his power and his tier two, so no double A without the tier two. Yeah, this one Harvester, it's full of Tiberium. Bike Rush would really like to capitalize on that. The Harvester uh, is actually docking, so Master Leaf, unfortunately, not quite noticing. The Hammerheads are getting caught Ooh. a little bit out of position. A lot of them are going down. Ooh, they killed a lot of infantry, messy. though. That might have been worth it. Maybe not totally cost-effective, but again, Leaf is now happily mining, and he's camping out Bike's southern field, which he needs to be a bit careful about because he's getting shot up again. Oh yeah, he cannot leave those units. He is going to be going for a couple of Harvester kills. If he can pick them off, it might be worth it, uh, depending on how much he loses. But in the north, yeah. he's mostly been pushed back for now. I would probably try to kill those Rocket Squads because he can definitely kill them with the APCs and then he can waste the Harvesters. But yeah, Hammerheads kill the infantry. That Mantis mm. snags two kills, but oh no, Bike isn't paying attention and the Marv will eat that for breakfast. Yeah, there's not a whole lot left here. I mean, there's lots of APCs for Master Leaf, but for Bike Rush, he's got the Redeemer, and that's his standing army at that kind of northern part of the map. He's got a few Look more units down south, but he doesn't have much of a very strong army. Yeah, the Marva and the Juggernauts are keeping the Redeemer up north, where there's... I mean, yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, north. <laughs> um, but Leaf was moving his MCV for I just got totally confused. And he's got eight Orcas as well. He just pumped out eight Orcas. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm assuming they're for the Redeemer. But um, yeah, um, Bike is in a lot of trouble. He's moving his one and only MCV now. Yeah, his harvesters down south, it looks like they were bugged just trying to find something to harvest. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of refineries left. The EMPs do fire off. Um, dang it, I I'm really sure. wanted to get excited about the EMPs, but they're not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, those ant buggies need to be safe for when the Marv gets here because it's on its way, and now Leaf is putting engineers into it. He's got juggernauts and he's got tower support, which, you know, it give him, like, you know, 20 seconds, he's going to build those to a point where they're really going to be really difficult to beat. Yeah, he's not currently queuing anything just yet, but, yeah, those watchtowers, they once they start stacking, they just become pretty much everything killing machines. Hammerhead's swinging in as well, and I don't know that Bike Rush ever rebuilt that tier two, so these Hammerheads yeah. may go completely unopposed. The Orcas as well, they're I mean, swinging in. The GG comes and down. GG comes down. Bike Rush owns. Bike Rush. This... And that was a really good game, by the way. <laughs> that was very, very well played from Master Leap. I mean, I talked about kind of the macro machine of Bike Rush. We did not see that this game. That did not go as I would have thought, but very well played yeah. to Master Leaf. Going to take nothing away from either one of these players. They played very well, but Master Leaf, it's like he just had Bike Rush's number. He called everything, and we kind of, we kind of hazed him a little bit there for going for the northern base, but it worked out. It was a good yeah. move. Bike Rush lost I mean, quite a lot. Bike Rush had really not much there to defend. He spent a lot of money trying to defend it, yeah. and he was down a conyard. And of course, uh, you know, air and ground. He can't, like I said before, he can't build do like ground-based defenses and air-based defenses. He's got to pick. All right, in the north of Tournament Dust Bowl, it's the man who's down zero one. Can he come back in game number two? It's the Red Black Hand Bike Rush. And in the south on Tournament Dust Bowl, playing as the Pink GDI, it's going to be Master Leaf. Uh, full of confidence, of course, with his very threatening color. Uh, Is that pink very refinery scary. first? Uh, oh, are you serious? No, that doesn't... Oh, it is going to be or, refinery first. Leafy. That's the latest power plant I've ever seen, or it is indeed refinery first. <laughs> and, so, I, mean, I mean, this is not the smashed variant, so both of the spikes can be grabbed by... Uh, they're not, like, quite as given as they are in uh, the smashed variant. Yeah. But with the walls that you have on the smash variant, plus the spikes yeah. slightly close to you. But this was a great call by Leaf. Obviously, blindly did this because Bike Rush is going for flame upgrade. 
not going to do anything for Bike Crush at this point in the game. Maybe later on, but again, that's an extra 1500 for the Shrine, 1000 for the upgrade, delayed ref, and he's not going to implement that. Yeah, he's going to get both spikes, but he's kind of hoping to kill a lot of scouts and even get an engineer, but he's not going to do it. Leaf went ref first. He's going to have Inf, sorry, uh, re, uh, uh, Tib out very quickly. Yeah, he went just for that eco. I mean, he can pull watchtowers behind this if he really wants to, but at this point, yeah, he, he went for the pit bull straight through the middle of the map. He's going to be getting the scout. Bike Rush, yeah, he dropped a lot of money on this opener and, of course, delayed his eco, so he's not going to be too happy about that. Master Leaf opening quite well, but... I mean, it's. I wouldn't say it's a build order win or anything like that. I think he might have seen that bike, maybe, but uh, he obviously knows he's not in danger because he can see the war factory with his pit bull. He knows there's no more. Yeah, but, harvester. Um, yep, right there. He's actually going to respond with a predator tank. So bike rush did the kind of psychological. Oh, a second predator tank as well. That's not a. That's not good by Master Leaf. He should know that there's clearly no, no threat. But he finishes the Ooh. second tank. Yeah. Uh, the Pitbull has been at least chased away. Yeah, there's a lot of Cabal squads here for Bike Rush. He can, of course, spread those around the map, be annoying with them, kind of in the mid to late game, constantly scouting his opponent. And, I mean, his second refinery, it's severely delayed in, in comparison to Master Leaf, but it's not too far behind, and the early expand for Bike Rush owns. Yeah, of course. I mean, Leaf did a nice work taking half the health off that Harvester. That's 50% of its armor gone with just one Pitbull, which should still be alive. Is it still rocking somewhere, Simon? Um, no, the only thing moving on the map, it looks like, is that bike. I'm not actually sure if the pit bull escaped. I lost sight of it as well. Ooh, yeah, a power looks plant. Like... Oh, okay, no, the pit bull is down on the left-hand side. Okay, yeah, so it did escape at about half HP, but... Uh, yeah, Bike Rush it... being super annoying. He's forcing the draft of more and more towers for Master Leaf and also forcing Master Leaf to repair that power plant. Uh, Master Leaf dropping down Tier 2, and I'm assuming upgrading one of these power plants before they expand. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason, I mean, Leaf was expecting either an all-in-all or more bikes, obviously, with the two Preds, but because, obviously, he built the Preds and the Towers, he's not expanding, which means he needs to kind of do something. So that's why he's going for Tier 2 AP ammo. Surprise, no uh, airfield, but um, probably going to have to put some pressure on Bike Rush at some point. Yeah, Bike Rush, if he goes more Harvesters, which is what he's currently doing, I think the count is at 6 right now, and 7 will be when he throws down the har the refinery on the expansion. He's also got dual spikes, so he's going, of course, very hard into eco, but I don't know if he's going to go as crazy into eco as he did last game, where it was like 12 Harvesters or something, just absolutely nuts. So I don't know if he's going to be going that crazy. If he does, as you mentioned, Master Leaf's aggression may end up paying off if he goes for a nice push. We'll have to see, though. I mean, Bike did a great job of faking out Master Leaf then. Leaf pulling a little bit too many Harvesters there. Uh, I'm not sure if that was intentional. But, yeah. uh, wow, he's, how many has he wow. got? He's got, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got nine Harvesters already. So maybe I'm mistaken. He's, he's got quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I saw the three transferring over, and I thought he was going to have, like, two back at his main base. But He's harvesting that field out very, very quickly. You think it's going to be a fast third for him, or is he maybe going to tech up? Uh, not quite sure what he's doing. Obviously, Bike Rush is just scoping out with the one bike. He did put Grenaders inside the uh, APCs, but he's already got AP ammo. This infantry squad is going to die. Uh, Leaf does kind of need to do something about those spikes now because um, mm -hmm. Bike Rush has held them for just simply too long. That's really helping him at the moment. And, um, yeah, he needs to take the spikes or destroy them and then uh, maybe prevent Bike from attacking again maybe go for a push while he takes the third or tex i'll have to see where he's going to take it yeah master if he's starting to move out across the map this is a pretty big map and bike rush owns will have a little bit of advance notice that this is coming so he's going to be of course be forming up lots and lots of infantry he's black hand does he have okay so he's already got the black disciple upgrade i forgot he got that super early yeah. but he does have a flame tank on the right side uh, let's have a look here. Oh, it's only just leaving the base, though. Uh, again, that one Grenada squad just killing a lot of Cabals at a garrison. Bike Rush not being able to use these buildings, unfortunately, because of that one APC. And, of course, he doesn't know which one the Grenadas are in, so he can't really risk it. Um, yeah, going to take down yeah. the first spike by the looks of things. Which is definitely a good start. And I think there's an engineer inside of... Oh, no, this is an empty ox transport on the right side. He's actually going to get perfect eyes... I think on both of these flame tanks. Yeah, he gets perfect scouting on both of the flame tanks just within range. Really, this kid with his star sense, Master Leaf, with the crazy yeah. good reads. 
Oh yeah, you can see both of them. So uh, definitely right about that. Does he? Is he responding? Yeah, he's responding with hammerheads, which is okay, nice. Good. I think he. I think he knows he's going to get clipped. He's going for a Marv. Bike crash just pops down a tip chem plant, so um, going to see some clicks. Yeah, he should have vision. He's on two MCVs now, which of course you can do with this. And is it coming down? He yeah. pulls the harvesters, <laughs> pulls the harvesters so he's definitely away. expecting it. <laughs> that's uh, that's thing, nice foresight. Yeah, the thing um, about the vision in Command and Conquer is it's just it stays around for so long that you're never quite sure when it's going to be safe to bring those harvesters back. There it goes, and he does not move the harvesters oh, in time. No. That's unfortunate. Yeah. He did completely beat that that army from Bike Rush, and he kills both the flame. Well, yeah, he's going to kill the second flame tank now. So, uh, Bike Rush has got a second MCV. So Leaf is up against the same kind of strategy. Um, I don't think he's going to get the MCV this time, though. Yeah, there's too many base defenses getting thrown down. A lot of shred turrets. They already do have that charged particle beam upgrade, and there's just not enough units here from Master Leaf. He does have the oh. hammerheads moving through the middle of the map. And is Tib Core researched? No, but I think it is researching. Uh, Leaf has a second MCV moving up to Bikes expansion with a Marv going out in the same direction. Has his second ref down again. And yeah, he's not going to be able to get this MCV, I don't think. With the Orca Although, Strike, um... it's going to be pretty close, so we may end up just sacrificing some of these units to get it. And the second Sam turret does get deployed. He's focusing down the turret hub. Yeah, no there's okay. too much here. Yeah. It, it gets it away close. with all of his hammerheads, though. That's nice. And um, of course, oh, yeah. forcing out all those Sam turrets, that's what, like, that's $3,200 worth of Sam turrets. And I mean, he does get to sell on, like, three of them, so he gets, you know, 1200 back, but that's not quite enough. Barracks does get thrown down for Leafy. I think he's going maybe Railgun and Engineer, yeah. and then two Engineers uh, to finish off that Double Marv. Tower. This is going to be nice. It's going to be hard for a Bike Rush to counter Double Tower if he keeps queuing them, but. Uh, the Marv is here, of course. The Marv is just going to Marvest, and with no stealth harvesters, Bike Rush can't really harvest from this position. Yeah, and I mean, even if he starts getting some of the closer Tib, it won't be too far before, or it won't be too long before the harvesters have to go so far out onto the field that they're basically on Master Leaf's side. Yeah. But you think and maybe... Hammerheads again. Hammerheads forcing more Sam Tires instead of Obelisks. Ah, and that won't be very good in dealing with these forces. Oh, Juggernaut's no. coming out, which Juggernaut's. is definitely a good choice. That's even more bad news for Bike Crush. Remember, his build radius is, isn't very far forward here because the MCB is so far back. And Leaf is now with the Quad Rail Marv going to marvelous this field. Bike Rush is all of a sudden in trouble again. Yeah, against GDI, I mean, you really have to be careful with those super powerful units. These Harvesters may get picked off. It's going to be a little bit dicey with the base defenses there. But Master Leaf, he's starting to expand oh. his MCV to the right side of the map, so he's going to be taking a third behind this, oh, which man. is good. Yeah, even if he loses this, like somehow loses this base push, which I can't see happening, um, he's still going to Ooh. have another expansion. M Blast missed everything. Oh, yeah, I don't know oh, what the deal was with those buggies. They actually ended up, I th oh, the Shockwave Artillery locks down some of these Harvesters and the Redeemer as well. Up. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Black Rush EMP'd his own Harvester, and then the Shockwave came in, and now he's got no power to power these Obelisks. He's going to lose his oh, Redeemer wow. to this Marv. The Redeemer oh, goes That's, down. This could be game. Leaf could come through with a 2-0 victory. That would be absolutely crazy. Oh, in the middle of the map, in the middle of Bike Rush's base, I thought there was a big counterattack, but it's one Rifleman squad attacking a Sam turret. Uh, Harvesters <laughs> for Leaf, it looks like they three of them got away with pretty much full loads of Tiberium, so that's quite a few, that's quite a bit of Tib. Uh, there is an MCV for both players on the right side, so Master Leaf yeah. is going to have to contend with that, and Bike Rush owns, he can power that. his Eco from that right side base. So yeah, he's I mean, not um, out of it yet. Leaf's army, like, he can only defend this with base defenses at this point in time. Bike Rush is going to be out of harvest here if he gets those harvesters back to work, but this whole base is going to go down. And Leaf should stop marvesting this field because he kind of needs to put refineries down on it. And oh, speak of the devil, he just pops one down then. Yeah, he's going to clean up a bit more Tib, which really leaves this Harvester with very few options in terms of Tiberium. But Master Leaf should have quite a bit of bank built up after this. And yeah. Bike Rush, he's transferring over so many Harves to this field. Master Leaf brings over the Hammerheads, but those he's are Tib Core Sams. He's going to drop two Sonic emitters now, and he's going to decimate this economy. Oh, no. Ooh. Both of the shots aren't the best for the start, but here comes the splash oh, damage. Goodbye, Harvester oh, number no. one. Oh, no. Those Harvesters are all lined up. Oh, Ooh, they do escape. It. 
So good good response there from Bike Rush Owens. Going to be keeping the Harvesters just pretty much outside of the range of those Sonic Emitters. And now it's the kind of the battle of the dual MCV versus dual MCV. But Bike Rush's tech, his MCV, and his power plants are all going to be under siege very, very shortly. Yeah. I don't know if he can keep this up. He lost one of his MCVs on the left-hand side, obviously the one that was pushing down there. Now Leaf is moving with his army, which is almost unstoppable, uh, considering Bike Rush has to put his base defenses down now at the eastern field. And, uh, oh man, he's got a veteran Marv now. Yeah, this veteran Marv, it's going to be just carving away through base defenses. It can tank so many shots. A rig would be a nice follow-up for Master Leaf, but he may not even need it. The tech lab is focused down. There's the sell-off of the MCV. It's single. Wait a second. Okay, there's the MCV. For a second, I thought yeah. Bike Rush was zero MCV, but he's got no more obelisks coming out, so... Harvest is even fighting in this, this area here. Leaf is probably going to use this, lose this MCV, but the damage he's inflicting is just almost irreparable. There's no tech center for Bike Rush. There seems to be a Zone Trooper squad inside of this APC, so a little bit dangerous because the APC is almost dead. Ooh. Cleans up another Harvester as well, so the fight is just going in Master Leaf's favor pretty much everywhere. Now, Bike Rush does still have a chance. He's got Eco coming in, and he's got one MCV. Yeah, he still has the MCV. He hasn't sold that off, and he's got dual rest, wow. so maybe he can make this comeback, but Master Leaf, he's got yeah. all the options. He can go sniper teams if he wants. I mean, he probably has the Eco to call in sniper teams. He sold he's, the MCV or lost it. He's going for more... Uh... He's going for more hammerheads, which is the right idea. My crush is about six grand, so he's going to be able to build a crazy big army. But the problem is that these Sonic emitters, look where they are. He can't get rid of those. Like, and oh, it's just going to rip up his harvesters. Yeah, I mean, he can try to go at them with infantry, but it's like, it's a nice split. Oh, he's going for EMP buggies. Uh, the shots are, they are good oh. enough. Believe the hype, folks. The Sonic emitter shots are real. A lot of these infantry are going to be getting taken out. The Black Hand units will tank quite a few shots, but this is trading a lot of units for Sonic emitters that have probably already paid for themselves. Yeah, and now Lee's attacking the backside of this base. He's got Juggernauts here. He can drop the barracks really quickly, and then he can just work, work his way on the uh, the MCV. And Hammerhead's now killing all the infantry on the, uh, the eastern field. Oh, and there's the low power mode. The SAM turret does get focused. The barracks and the, the war factory gets sold off, so there's no production facilities. Another hand of Nod goes down right there, oh, but the hammerheads. Nice targeting from Leaf there. Did you oh. see him target down all those ant buggies? <laughs> oh, I did not nice. see that, but Bike Rush Owns is saying GG. He's going to be tapping out of this game, and Master Leaf with the 2-0. I did not see that coming. I thought it was going to be a 2-1 for sure. Uh, Bike Rush owns. Do you think maybe the tables have turned? Maybe now he's got a mental block against yeah. Master Leaf? I mean, Bike Rush, of course, uh, he states he hasn't been around. He hasn't been around that much, but he's still been playing to the point where he should still be uh, at the top of his game. And, I mean, you can't fold a Leaf in both of those games. Leaf's strategy was just, like, ridiculously powerful. Look at the kill death ratio, 11.87. Holy cow. I Black mean, Crush has a Black .07. Hand, yeah, Black Hand, it's normally like 0.3 to 0.5, but 0 0.07, that is pretty crazy. And Master Leaf advances on, takes out Bike Rush. He's in the finals.